Hello and welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you good. And today, I'm in charge thanks to these requests. It appears some of you want a Bane voice effect. So, that's what we're doing today guys. Now in order to complete this effect, you really don't need to do anything besides your best Bane impression, like yours truly in this example. Speak of the devil, and it shall appear. Do you feel in charge? No one cared who I was until I put on the mask. Now the choice to whether you want to wear one of these Bane masks when you record your dialogue is completely up to you. I wouldn't recommend it because this thing's made out of rubber and it sounds awful. Here's a for instance. If you put this rubber mask on and then record your dialogue, it's going to sound not only muffled, but terrible. See? I actually got this thing from Wish.com, it was about 6 bucks. It's not bad looking, but it is ill-fitting, and as you can hear, it makes the dialogue sound pretty much unintelligible and terrible. So if you are going to shoot with a mask like this, make sure that you re-record your dialogue. But that's enough of that, let's get into audition and get to work. Okay guys, here we are in Adobe Audition, and of course I have my audio file already recorded and ready to go. But before I get into the tutorial, I do want to mention one thing when it comes to recording the audio for a Bane voice specifically. Try to do it in a space with as little ambient noise as possible, because some of the effects we're adding here will amplify any and all noise you have in the background, and that's going to end up sounding awful. One really easy way to record in what's called a dead space is to grab your mic and yourself and record your audio under a heavy blanket, as it knocks out not only the echo in the room, but a lot of the background noise too. We also cover how to remove that background noise in the episode that's in the card on the corner, so check that out as well. Now there are some tutorials that encourage you to either cup your hands or speak into a cup as well, and I'm gonna say, don't do that, because you're actually muffling and distorting the raw audio, and that's not something you can actually fix in Audition. In fact, here's a bit of trivia, they actually re-recorded most of Tom Hardy's dialogue in The Dark Knight Rises because it was too muffled by the mask. But hey, if you want to cup your hands over your face or speak into a cup, I'm not going to stop you. Now, back to the effect, and let's add our first layer of effects. Let's head over to the effects rack, head to special, and grab Guitar Suite. We'll firstly hit Bypass on Filter, because we don't need it, and then we'll uncheck Bypass on Compressor and bring it up to 100%. We'll set our Distortion to Garage Fuzz and set that to 30%. And finally, we'll head down to Amplifier, and we'll set the box here to Special Effects Glassy High End. And I'm going to set that to 60%, and let's have a listen to that. Speak of the devil, and it shall appear. Do you feel in charge? No one cared who I was until I put on the mask. You can hear that gives our voice that slightly distorted metallic filter, kind of like our actor is talking through some sort of modulator or apparatus. The best part is, you can still hear them clearly. If you want to have a play with both of these settings, go for it. As always, have a good tweak around. What works for my voice may not work for yours. Now, the next three steps are all about giving our voice a bit more presence, a bit more oomph, really beefing up that bass. So let's head back over to the effects rack, into filter and EQ, and select FFT filter. We'll firstly set it to default to get a nice flat line, and then we're simply going to add some points here, here, and here and then we'll make a shape exactly like this. This is going to bring up the bass in our voice a decent amount, but we ain't done yet. Let's close that out and head back to the rack, head to Amplifying Compression, and select Multi-Band Compressor. From the drop-down menu, we'll select Toit Bass, because we want it nice and toit. Let's have a listen to that. Speak of the devil, and it shall appear. Do you feel in charge? No one cared who I was until I put on the mask. Mm, it's getting there. Now, call me crazy, but guess what? We only have one step left. We're going to head back to the rack once more, head to special, and grab Guitar Suite once more. We're going to check Bypass on Compressor, Filter, and Distortion, and then from the drop-down menu on Amplify, let's set that to Bass Cabinet and leave it at 50%. Let's now close it out, hit Apply on the Effects Rack, and have a listen to our final mix. Speak of the devil, and it shall appear. Do you feel in charge? No one cared who I was until I put on the mask. And that, my friends, is another voice effect mm, done. Out of all those steps, and your voice goes from this. Speak of the devil, and it shall appear. 
Do you feel in charge? No one cared who I was until I put on the mask. Uh, to this. Speak of the devil, and he shall appear. Do you feel in charge? No one cared who I was until I put on the mask. So guys, that's my take on Bane's voice from The Dark Knight Rises. As you can see, it's really not that hard to do at all, as long as you've got a decent impression of Bane. But for now guys, that is my time. If you did enjoy this episode, please smash that like button. And if you have any other voice effect requests that you want me to do, just throw them down in that comment section. And hey, if you are new here, why not hit subscribe? And even if you are new and you don't have that notification bell turned on, please turn that on so you don't miss a single film learning episode. We've got a couple other voice effects right over here, as well as our flash effects playlist right up here. My social media crap is above my head. Facebook, Twitter, don't forget to check that community tab. And until I see you again, guys, keep learning.